French court clears Kofi Olomide of ding former dancers. Kofi Olomide, star of the Congolese rumba, was released Monday in appeal of the charges of on four of his ex-dancers, but sentenced to 18 months in with probation of three years for having sequestered them during his tours in France. The acquittal on the is pronounced with the benefit of the doubt, explained the President of the Seventh Correctional Chamber of the Court of Appeal of Versailles, evoking in particular evolving declarations, sometimes contradictory of the plaintiffs. On the other hand, the sequestration is established without any doubt, with complainants deprived of any freedom and supervised in a constant way by two accomplices of Coffee Lamide between 2002 and 2006 in a house of Parisian suburb, where had been installed locks on shutters. The two Congolese guards, Mbilake Keys, 45, and Ojimant Sisanduka, 49, were both to six months in with a three-year probationary period for complicity in the thing. By retaining only the sequestration, the Court of Appeal recalls the absence of evidence and pronounces an important release for the essential of the charges, was pleased with the AFP on Juan Ve, who defends the star at the sides of Emmanuel Marsigny. Mr. Olomide can now turn the page of this case that pursued him for years, he added. The latter, present at his trial in October but absent from the deliberation, had blasted lies, concerted accounts, a plot to break, his, career. The President. For their part, the complainants will necessarily be disappointed on the offense of <laughs> since it was for them the most important thing, said after the deliberation me David Disgranges, who represents three of the dancers. On the other hand, the sequestration was retained contrary to the judgment in first instance, which is a satisfaction because the judges are consequent, according to the lawyer who does not envisage an appeal in cassation. Kofi Lamide and his two accomplices must now pay from 10,000 to 32,000 euros in judges for each dancer. The four Congolese women, who filed a complaint between 2007 and 2013, accused Kofi Lamide of having locked them in a pavilion in the Paris suburbs and forcing them to have s him, on a regular basis for some. It happened in hotels, sometimes in the car, in recording studios, testified one of them in tears during the trial. Since then, none of them has returned to the Congo, confiding in the bar their fear of the consequences in front of an international star whom they nicknamed the president before the affair. One of them had also declared that she had made at least one attempt. The judgment rendered Monday by the court is far from the expectations of the public prosecutor, who had requested eight years in against the 65-year-old Franco Congolese. He asked to return on the wreckage of the first judgment and to recognize guilty this powerful man, international star who now lives in France. In the first instance, in 2019, the court of Nanterre had sentenced him to two years and suspended for stay connected to the Love Dictionary TV for more news. Please remember to subscribe if you've not yet done so. Thanks for watching and bye for now.